Right, it's been brought to my attention that some people may believe that I'm a bit of a boy racer. Maybe something like... It's got the Vortex spoiler, up level high spoiler, high level spoiler. That's not me. I don't relate to that at all. So bear that in mind as you watch me fit a key big spoiler. Right, because the Lupo is such a small car, it's a little hatchback and the back end uh, drops off really vertically. It leaves this big vortex of space where the air is coming over when you're traveling really fast. There's a big vacuum of space, the back end can get light. So there's loads of science and maths around fitting a big wing on the back. But all of that pales into minor insignificance because the reason that I'm fitting the wing it's because I think it looks cool as First things first, got to get rid of the wiper. I used the wiper to clear the screen to be fair because we've got a camera just there. So it's a shame to be losing it, but the big gear wing's far more important. I'm saving weight too. Right, I've already blocked off the, uh, the water pipe that goes to the rear wiper motor there, so that's gone, so that can't be coming through anymore. Uh, motor's off completely, and uh, I've tied up the cables so they shouldn't get in the way anymore. So the next thing to do is I think we'll mask up the back and we'll uh, offer up the spoiler and we'll see what it looks like. Right, I haven't mentioned it yet, but this is what I'm fitting. It's a BYC wing, and it's made specifically for the Lupo GTI. These top mounts here, they, they normally go into the underside of the Lupo GTI spoiler. Like there. But obviously I don't have a Lupo GTI spoiler, so I'm gonna have to come up with a different way of doing that. The easiest way would probably be if I just bought a Lupo GDI spoiler and fit it there but then that would mean I'd have like two spoilers and I mean who wants two spoilers the vortex spoiler high level spoiler Make the noise. Oh, this one doesn't make a noise actually. Right, the only problem with not having the Lupo GDI spoiler is that I don't have a fixing point for these top bits here, like I've already said, but. I should be able to get away with fixing it directly to the top of the boot here. But the only problem is then that these mountain points here are too high but that's an easy fix because all it means I've got to do is redraw this one down here and then just leave that wall blank and I think that'll work let's get the drill out As monumental fiddly pain in the arses go, this one was pretty much near the top of the list like. It was really fiddly to get right down there to get the ball, so to get the nut on the back. But now it's done, the top mounts are done, so I can now hang the, uh, the, the frame down and then I can mark the bottom ones and get the frame completely fixed. 
before that I'll just put the the re uh, braking light back in and we'll be done so uh, we're getting close Right, measured up now, frames on the car, measured both sides to the side of the barge, because the barge is bang in the centre, or at least I hope it is. <laughs> right, I've just stripped all this down again, took the light out and everything for the past 10 minutes, because there was a bit of a clunk every time I opened and closed the boot, and uh, in the end it turned out to be these. Right, mountain brackets all on the car now, all six of them, so now it's the moment of truth, time to get the frame on, see what it looks like. So far so good. Right, last little job now, I've got to drill the hole for these mountain points here because they weren't original. These are the original holes here and they were far too high as I explained earlier. Now all this is bolted up, I'm just going to drill them whilst it's on the car and then just put the bolt straight in. Perfect. Right, time to get the wing on. If I was cool or, or hip, I'd be telling you how how sick that looks right now. It looks sick, but I'm not. It does look good though, doesn't it? BYC suggests that you don't fix it, you actually bond it with Tiger Seal. So I've got to nip off tomorrow and get some and I'll get all that filled in so that the wing is completely solid. Uh, and then I'll play around adjusting this. All these different mountain locations so the wing can go up and down, front and back. And then obviously the support bars on the back so we're going to adjust exactly how the wing is. The fit of the brackets is really good as well. Even though there's no spoiler here and this is a Lupo GTI kit. So there should be a spoiler here and it fixes to the underside of the spoiler. Um, I've managed to do that pretty well. And the only casualty really is that I now have a hole here because that was the original support bracket but I moved it down can't see that making a difference because when I shake this the full car moves so this thing is absolutely solid solid as a rock right it's a new day now and the last little job I need to do is I had to nip off and get some tiger seal because the actual wing itself 
gets bonded to the frame. It, there's no fixing, there's no like screw or anything. So the last little job is I just need to run a nice bead round there and bond the wing on in both places. Obviously I'll make sure that it's nice and uh, central first uh, and then that'll be this put to bed. Got the gloves and the paper towel as well because I'm not the neatest to be fair and this could very very quickly go messy. Hopefully it'll not though. Considering how crap I am at anything involving mustic, like silicon, or anything like that. Pretty darn happy with that. Blind man on the galloping horse. And that's it, how to make a ridiculous car look even more ridiculouser. Don't worry, I know that's not a real word. But uh, I know I said at the start that um, I'm pretty much only doing this because I think it looks cool and I do. <laughs> I think it looks really cool, but I'm a big child. I'm sure you'll either know that or you will get to know that. Um, but there is some really, really good data coming back from BYC about these wings and about how much downforce they can create at the rear of the car and how it really helps out little hatchbacks like this. So um, it's just another level of adjustability on the car that we can play with. Adjustable suspension, adjustable wing, adjustable brake bias, adjustable everything, just to try and fine tune and um, get everything exactly how we want it. Even though, let's face it, we probably don't even know how we want it in the first place if you like this video give us a thumbs up i really do appreciate it and if you want to see more stupid ridiculous videos like this then please hit that subscribe button thanks for watching see you in the next one